Here we have the Samsung Galaxy S2 in a Wits Prime. Here we, we have, have the 3.5mm jack. And the part where the battery goes in, obviously. And the 8.0, I believe, megapixel camera. And if you can see it, a USB connector. But it's going to have HDMI, so I'm not sure if that is it. Right, we have the battery, which is bigger than the normal Samsung Galaxy S. Quite big, actually. It is 1650 MHz. Or megaamp, I can't remember what it's called. 3.7 volts. Then, obviously, it comes with it is the inner headphones with obviously the 3.5 millimeter jack end USB to mini USB for connecting to the PC obviously we got a taste card with ours so you get so, which is strange because I never got mine with my Samsung Galaxy S. Yeah, Galaxy <coughs> S. Um, in a in a ear, exchangeable one, so you can change the size for your ears. And here we've got the charger. Yep. Which is uh, 60 hertz, 100 and 100 to 240 volts. And then the, the gorgeous looking box, look at that, no, it's just sweet. No, it's just awesome. And then at the back you've got the um, instruction, whoa, what is it? Oh, Samsung Galaxy S. It's a 16 gigabyte as well. They're struggling to pick that up. But if you can see it, it's... It's Super AMOLED Plus, um, Android technology, Wi-Fi, um, DivX HD, and it's got dual call 1.2 gigahertz, um, eight megapixel AF camera plus a two megapixel VT front facing camera. Yep. And we got full HD um, recording. We've got multi codex, DivX, and Xvidia, I, I believe that is. Bluetooth 3.0, which is high speed. GPS and geotagging. DLNA, I think. I don't know what the hell that is for. And we have a 1650 megahertz or whatever it is, battery. And it's a 16 gigabyte um, internal memory, which is huge. And it takes up to 32 gigabyte external memory. And here we've got a manual, but right. I don't use it. We'll ever. pause it and then we'll come back to it. As you see. You see, it's quite smooth compared to the Samsung Galaxy S I had, and I compared them both together. Um, the Samsung Galaxy S is smooth, but not as smooth as this one. But Miles, this one's wicked. <laughs> In love with the phone. Do my files. If anyone's interested in how to do it, um, if you're wondering if you haven't, you can't get like text message ringtones, it's because you have to make on your um, root of your M MS disk um, media, and then make another folder called notifications, and then you put all your music inside there, so that you can then 
on the phone, go to your text message, go to ringtones, and then you can choose your ringtones from there. And there we have it. Um, listen to music this time. Right. Do you have any music on it? I think it may come with um, standard music. Confirm. It's quite fast for loading. There we go. You can just um What is that? What did you do? No idea. <laughs> Is that it? All you get? Like one second worth of playing music that I want music. No, we have nothing on there so we hmm. can't preview. That's because I haven't put music on it yet, but, but I will. Um, it does seem a lot louder than the Samsung Galaxy S as well, so that's a good sign. Altogether, it's a really strong looking phone, it's a really good phone. Camera is awesome. Put something in front of it, please. No. No, it's so clear. That is so clear, look. That's amazing. <laughs> it's so clear. And also, obviously, the phone all adjusts itself once you've taken a picture as well. Are you gel? Hmm? Are you gel? No. I'm not gel. I'll get mine next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> so it might be a Samsung Galaxy X S three by then, or maybe five. Let's skip the four. <laughs> Let's see how fast market base loads up compared to Samsung. Oh, I have to no. have a Google account. Quickly do yours. No, I can't be honest. We'll do that in a different video. Mm. 